Yo, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka A Drive. Pretty guys, hey, another episode of our Pokemon Insurgents Nuzlocke Let's Play. If you guys are hyped for this episode, whoa, 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 time out, time out, time out. I know you're hyped. I know you're hyped. I hope you're hyped. I'm having a good time. I've been having a lot of fun with Insurgents. Last episode, I set the goal at 17 likes, and you guys absolutely destroyed that. And my parent, my dad, actually called me last night, and he's like, "Son, I'm so proud of you." I'm just so proud of you for getting 18 likes on your video and above 17 was the goal you guys crushed it But it is so imperative guys that you guys hit that like button today You know and, and I know you might be like he's just begging for like no here's the deal guys We have a Central Park meetup tomorrow in New York City, which goes to our quest today Will I find a shiny, shiny Magikarp tomorrow in Central Park? It is a Magikarp spawn. It is a nest of Magikarps I checked the Silk Road they do the nest thing and there is a just a ton of nests all over over Central Park Like all of Central Park is just a bunch of Magikarp spawns I need the luck to get a shiny Magikarp guys So hit that like button one like equals one prayer equals one chance of a shiny Magikarp That's what I need guys. I need your luck So let's make it happen because the vlog is gonna be tight and uh, if you guys live in New York area Central Park area come meet up with us. I posted the video on my channel. You can check that out But let's jump into it man. This is gonna be a lot of fun We got to uh, figure out what this what is going on here with this dude and his little area There's some bandits or something that took over his little his little area. So I guess I'm gonna just do some battles and We'll have to battle all these people. I don't know. I don't know what we're supposed to do. There's like a little little layer over here. We found a super repel. I should probably battle these two guys first before we do anything. You wanna battle me, bro? Hey, bro, you wanna battle? You wanna battle me, bro? Hey. The boss man said I was a pirate of the month. I gotta protect my title. All right, so anyway, we're gonna have some fun today, man. Playing some Pokemon Insurgents. Uh, find out what this burglar is doing. He's got a Plusle. What a powerful powerful Pokemon he has of all the Pokemon he could have I'm gonna just call mine dude he's gonna thunder and actually hit me there's seriously no animation for that but that's okay so anyway the back to the question today though I am gonna be hunting in Central Park and and I the the nest just changed like they changed last night or this morning or whatever so I didn't expect Magikarp to be there when I designed this meetup and said we we're gonna do this meetup but now that I know that there's Magikarp there I'm so amped up that I have a really good chance to get a Magikarp and not only that I mean we have a better chance to get a um a let's see here a, a Gyarados because I'm like 30 candies away from a Gyarados anyway so I'm kind of hyped about that because I could finally get the Gyarados that I've been wanting uh you know but I really I'm trying to save my candy for how is he fast at that time I don't understand that it's it's a Magneton um, you know, I've been saving my candies and oh, I forgot our bad nature uh, You know to, to get that shiny Magikarp shiny Gyarados So hopefully in the vlog dude, we'll not only get a shiny Magikarp, but we'll get a shiny Gyarados as well Like that is the dream dude So I don't even know what trump card does, but it did pretty much nothing. So that's the dream man I'm really excited anyone on a side note anyone who lives in the United States um, And I know a lot of people in Europe and, and beyond are like hey drive you got to come and do a meetup here and It's it's on the radar. Listen, it's not gonna happen tomorrow or even in the next like month or two, but I I know that you guys want to do a meetup, and uh, I'm I'm keeping my eyes open, keeping my mind open, and I would love to come do a meetup in Europe at some point in time. Okay, so just 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 an FYI. But I don't know how many guys uh, bought lottery tickets. The Powerball got to like seven hundred million dollars uh, last night, which is a lot of money. And I don't buy lottery tickets. I've only bought lottery tickets like three times in my life, but. There was so much buzz about it because it was such a big jackpot. I think it was the second, big, second biggest jackpot ever or whatever. So, okay, fine. Um, I said, Danny, you know what, Danny? To my wife. If you want to go buy some tickets, we can buy some tickets. So we spent 10 bucks on tickets, which normally I only get one. But she got 10, and she picked out the numbers and stuff, numbers that were relevant to us. And uh, we didn't win. We didn't win, so just same, same old me. No 700 million bucks, guys. You know, I would have... I would have been pretty hyped if I won that, but uh, you know, it, I found out that you're more likely to die to a vending machine falling on you than you are to uh, winning the lottery. So, doesn't it look like this is like an entrance over here? I think it's just part of the house. All right, so let's see what's going on in this little house here. Lots more bul burglars. I ain't going. Got no tagline. Let's just battle. Well, that's kind of your tagline. Is that I ain't got no tagline? I ain't got no worries. A weavile. So I'm ice and electric. Do I need to worry about Weavile? No, because he's ice and dark. Okay, I'm gonna shockwave. Snatch. I don't really even know what snatch does. But shockwave's good, good damage. Ooh, dark pulse. This could hurt, but it's probably not gonna do. Oh, you flinched me. And nice. That's gonna hurt more than dark pulse would. Ho! Oh, diamond. 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 We knocked him out, so I don't have to worry about pursuit. I thought that was it, man. We just got critically hit, night slashed. 
and another Weavile. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm a little nervous about him having Pursuit. I'm gonna Hyper Potion just to be safe because if he has Pursuit, like, that's gonna be kind of a bummer. That's gonna be... He's gonna Night Slash us. Okay, I'm gonna switch out because of the threat of Pursuit. So what can I switch into? Helios is Fire and Poison. That's probably pretty decent. Skyla's Dragon. We don't wanna go to him. Yeah, we're gonna go to Helios. I'm really bad against Ice types, actually. That's something to worth like worth noting that we have really hard times against these types of Pokemon. Wow, that did so much, dude. I'm gonna flamethrower. I hope punishment doesn't knock me out. Oh my god. Flamethrower should knock him out though, because it's analytic boosted. Okay, it does. Dude, that Weavile was strong. Like Weavile is no joke, man. I feel like I underestimated the power. We have a hard time against that, so that's something to note, like when we continue to build our team out here like what we kind of use and what Pokemon we put on our team and stuff, because that could be problematic in the future. But let's grab this TM. Solar Beam, that's kind of cool. Not really beneficial for the Pokemon on my team, but cool nevertheless. Let's see what's going on over here. More bandits. Oh my God, this is actually like a really big room. All right. Whoa, I'm just here to steal some stuff. I'm honestly feeling so attacked right now. <laughs> This guy feels attacked because he's the one trying to steal stuff. What a what a jerk. Oh, he's got a Gigalith. Okay, so we got to switch. Um, I think Guy is probably good or Demix. Oh, I'm gonna, I am gonna nickname Demix uh, Senor Wizard. We're definitely gonna nickname him Senor Wizard. Power Gem. Ouchies. Skull should be good. This sh might not knock him out, but it's gonna do a lot. Get the burn. I never get the burn when I want to get the burn, dude. You never get it. We gotta get some better moves in this guy, cause like stored power just isn't doing it for me. But Senor Wizard here, just just think of him as Senor Wizard. And I did read that you guys told me where I can get the Delta Pidgeotite and all that good stuff. So here's an Injask. I don't know whether I should worry about him using a Bug type move. I'm just gonna scald. Oh, that might have been a bad decision. Whoo, <laughs> Senor Wizard! <laughs> Thank you for living. Thank you for living that, cause I just made a very big mistake. Okay, so I think Helios is pretty good against this dude. He doesn't have Pursuit. Okay, so your wizard almost just died to an x Scissor, which would have been a very big mistake. I was like, oh, he's just a ninjask. I'm lucky, I'm unlucky, I'm lucky today. Mind Reader, okay. See you later. All right, Helios put in work. Sorry for chewing on ice. Do you get any of you guys chew on ice? I do sometimes. Not like a ton, it's not like a bad habit, but a timer ball, once in a while. All right, let me see, how many potions do I have? I have 21, so we have definitely have enough. So we'll make sure everyone's nice and healed up here. And actually, you know what's funny? Our uh, our starter has fallen behind here. He's our lowest level now, so let's get him some action. I typically like don't use the starter as much, but he like saved the playthrough, so we need to use him. Uh, let's go this way. There's another bag left. Is there no items in here? How about he anyway? Uh, kid, oh, I, guess, I don't know. He said, I guess I should turn around or something. Burglar Qatar would like to battle. He's got a Raichu. Okay. I think I can just go for Moonblast. He's only got Thundershock. Moonblast should pretty much do a lot. And I'll just Psychic. I should have a Mega Evolved, but it's okay. And I gotta figure out why the Sprite doesn't show up when I Mega Evolved too. I don't know what that's about, but. All right, now we're at 52, so we're like caught up again. Okay, so is there some secret item in here? Like, I don't know. There are hidden items in this game. Like I know like there's hidden mega stones and stuff from what I understand. Oh, there's a secret room. What's going on here? Oh, that guy looks like he's bad. All right, well, I'm ready for him. Huh. That's right, I'm the boss man here. Tell me, kid, do you really think you stand a chance? I've been looting and plundering since you were just a wee babe. Bring it on, we'll never clear out the trade outposts. All right, it's time. Oh, he's like the boss man, Derek, and he's only got one Pokemon, which is a Haxorus. Luckily for me, I've got a Pokemon that happens to be good against Haxorus, so we're going to Mega Evolve and Moonblast, which probably one-shots him, as long as he doesn't one-shot me, which he can't use a dragon move, so really the best thing he could do against me would probably be a poison move, like a, a poison poison jab. He's got Dragon Dance, but we should be okay. Like, I think we just one-shot him. Haxorus is pretty frail on the special side. So I would imagine we just one-shot him. And we do, okay. That was pretty pretty tough, though. That would have been pretty tough otherwise. So, good job, Asparagus. Oh, you scallywag. 
Where or how? You can't beat me, the boss said I had to protect him. I just spilled the beans. The real boss didn't want anyone finding out. Go ahead and face the boss. If he can lead our little group from behind the scenes as a Pokemon, he can take you out. Their boss is a Pokemon? What? Oh, it's export. I didn't even know, what, what does export mean? All right, we're gonna Skyla so I can glare. Oh my goodness, what is this thing? It's a Pokemon. A Delta Pokemon? Delta Axe you! Oh my goodness, it's amazing! This is amazing, I'm gonna glare. Lily, stop barking. He's paralyzed, okay. I don't know how to weaken him without, I don't know what type he is either. Um, what can I do to weaken him? Do I have anything that could potentially weaken him without knocking him out? Uh, earthquake, body slam, belly drum. I could leech seed him. I mean, that's an option. Skull, I don't even know what type he is yet, so that's kind of an issue too. I think I'm just gonna have to chuck Pokeballs at him and just hope for the best for now and just see what happens. See if we have any chance of catching this thing without, um, dude, he looks awesome though. He's like a little shark dude. I, I feel like he kind of looks like he's a steel type. Oh my God, okay. He's paralyzed again, but we got three shakes there. That wasn't bad. That wasn't bad. Let's try this again. I need better ways to catch Pokemon in this game. One, two. Oh my God, dude, it's so close. I can't even, he hasn't even been able to attack me, so I still don't even know what type he is yet. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. One, two. Oh my God, no. Poison Fang. So is he poison type? If he's poison type, that's interesting, because maybe I can Razor Leaf him. He does not want to be caught, does he? he? Keeps getting paralyzed. So leech seeding is an option, but I'm trying to not do that because then I run, I run the risk of not catching him at all. Yes, dude. The consistent Pokeballs just works, man. We got the Axie. Let's see what type he is. Is he poison type? He's pure water type. A Delta, spe a Delta species discovered by no name dummy. It takes large bites out of dock boats, forcing local fishermen to invest in boats made of extremely strong metal. All right, well, we're gonna name it Havoc. I can't spell. Havoc. Is that how I spelled it? Did I spell it with a K before? I think it's like that. I'm gonna spell it that way. I don't know if I spelled it with a K last time. I could always change it. I called their boss. Sweet. Well, I'm excited to go check him out. So let me cut till I get to the Pokemon Center unless something else happens. Wow, you found out what was attracting all these thieves and pirates. A Delta Pokemon. Shiver me timbers. I would have never guessed. Listen, I owe you one. Let me pay you for your troubles. All right, just gave me three grand, dude, which is pretty sweet. I'm gonna head back to the Pokemon Center though, just to uh, kind of check that out. Uh, I do want to nickname or re-nickname uh, Senor Wizard and uh, check out our new Delta Pokemon. And then we'll kind of go from there, I guess. Uh, I know we have to go to Whirl Islands, I believe, uh, to try to save the world. So we'll have to try that out. And also I wanted to grab the Move Tutor because it's my understanding that Skyla can learn some some better moves that I might have missed or something. So I don't actually remember how I get back to the mainland, but uh, I'll just cut until I get to the Pokemon Center. I renamed a couple Pokemon and we've got our Strong Jaws Havoc here, which is pretty sweet. He's Rash Nature, Strong Jaws, a really high attack stat, um, and Poison Fang, Ice Fang, Crunch Agility. So that's actually really cool. So it looks like he's all about biting. Um, that's pretty sweet. Well, how do they name the other Havoc? Oh, I did spell them the same. So here's Havoc and then Baby Havoc. So we got a couple of them. Uh, pretty cool stuff. But uh, I did rename a few Pokemon, as I mentioned. We've got Senor Wizard and Groot, as suggested in the comment section below. So we have to kind of get all the way back to where we were. We got to go to Whirl Islands or whatever it's called to try to save the world once again. So I will see you guys in a second. Ah, there's some little berry area here. Let's talk to this chick and see what she has to say. I run a small garden out of the ocean. It's just a hobby, but I love doing it. The sea air is great for the lungs and the plants are well hydrated. Oh, is that it? Oh, I found a Petra Berry. I mean, that's convenient, but is that it otherwise? A Ross Berry. Can I just keep talking to it? No. That all I'm getting? That's all you give me here? That's mildly disappointing. Okay, to the islands we go. Ah, it's raining on this route. 
That's interesting. I have to be kind of careful. The music sounds like Legend of Zelda music. Oh my god, there's a Quagsire? Should I, should I encounter it? I don't know. I think it's just a regular Quagsire that you can battle. Maybe I should talk to it, actually. That'll kind of be my encounter, though. Do I care about that? I don't know. I haven't really been catching much stuff, because I just kind of want to use the Delta Pokemon. Oh, I guess I'm battling him. Alrighty, then. Quagsire. Technically my encounter, but I think I'm just going to Razor Leaf him, because I'm just kind of catching all the Pokemon that are Delta and not really worrying too much about regular Pokemon. I mean, we have almost 30 Pokemon in backups right now, and I, I've used Quagsire before, so I'm not super stoked about that. So let's see what else we could find. A wild Pokemon here. Now that I can get behind a Wingle, baby. No, I was kidding. I'm kidding. I don't really care that much about Wingle. It's not going to let me run. Oh, it did. Okay. A TM. Thunder Wave. That's actually convenient. But where is the evil people? Are the evil people? What do we got here? Another Wingle. It's probably... I should probably switch out. So this thing isn't in the front of my party. Yeah, because that's going to happen. It's just going to be like, you can't run because they're faster than you. Let me run. Please. All right, cool. I'm going to switch them out, though. Uh, let's put... Let's put Senor Wizard in the front. He's a cool cop. Senor Wizard. All right. I didn't have hard skills, by the way, guys, so I couldn't uh, do the movie learner. I don't know if I said that already, but... Figured I'd let you guys know. All right, what is this? Another Wingle. So that, this seems to be like, I gotta be honest, these little Wingles, man, they're kind of flying around and, uh, you know, they should probably be a little careful because this this is a stormy, stormy area here. Very stormy. And there's just Wingles everywhere. There's a Tentacruel though. That's kind of cool. Not really a Wingle. I like Tentacruel. Tentacruel gives good experience too. Oh my God, the amount of encounters is just too many, man. I can't do it. This is where we just do the speed up, man, because I just can't. I can't do it. I don't have the patience. I want to make progress. Get me to the islands. There's e there's not even any trainers in this route, either. This is where the rare instance where I use... Oh, I still can't run away? Get out of here, dude. All right, here we are. World Islands. We made it. This is where we want to be. And this is likely the cave we need to go to. Okay, I think this is where we're supposed to be. So we do get a new encounter in World Islands. This one I might actually catch. There's a little cave down here. Let's see what we got. Oh. I hope you said goodbye to your family because you won't see them ever again. Oh my goodness. The Abyssal Cult. All right. So we know that these are the dudes who use their water types. A Quillfish. Well, that's convenient for Senor Wizard. Sajok. Brian ain't going to do nothing. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, it didn't even knock him out. Come on, Senor. Ooh, Pin Missile. This could hurt. Oh, don't hit five times, please. Okay, we're good. That would have been bad. If he hit five times with a couple crits in there, Senor Wizard would have been, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Muerto? Is that, is that a word that means dead? Uh, what does this thing get? This thing gets all sorts of moves, like bullet seed and stuff. So let's probably switch out. Let's go to Groot. I am Groot. Because Groot's got a good enough special defense that he can take an ice move. Whereas if he goes for like a bullet seat, or, or just signal beams me, predicts the switch. Or doesn't, I guess he doesn't really predict the switch, just kind of goes for the move that was going to hit super effectively. Right, let's see how this does. That did good damage. That was good. And the Razor Leaf here should probably put him in the, in the, set him to a sunken grave. There we go. Cool. Artillery's down. All right, let's see what other... Oh, send your wizard got some ex boosted experience there because he was traded. I tend to forget that. I guess that helps him level up faster. No big deal. All right, let's use Hyper Potion here. Hyper Potion there. That should be good. I'm actually going to probably... Yeah, I guess this is fine. All right, let's see. Where are we going here? All the water everywhere. Can I beat a Lugia, you think? Psychic and flying? Um, oh, we got a Celio. I'll catch the Celio, man. I'll catch it. I never, I never really catch. Oh, you know what? I might knock it out with Psy Shock. Oh, no, we're good. All right, I'm like, wait a minute. Am I going to knock it out? Because that would be dumb. Let's go for a Nuzlocke Wall. 
Can I beat a Lugia? Lugia is psychic and flying. Um, if I have to face Lugia, like I'm, not, I'm assuming I'm gonna have to face Lugia. I don't actually know, but just from the fact that I've had to face all these legendaries, you know. Uh, let's name Celio. We're gonna name him um, Tusky. We're gonna name him Tusky. Good nicknames, man. <laughs> Best nickname ever. Hey, where do you think you're going? Uh, to find your boss and, uh, you know, hopefully stop them from doing bad things. A Starmie. Now, well, Senor Wizard's not very good against Starmie. Mm. What can I go into? Asparagus? Let's go to Groot. Groot needs to learn some better moves, man. Groot needs to learn Seed Bomb, like, ASAP. Rapid Spin. That's a good strat. Yeah, can you learn Seed Bomb, dude? I hate Confuse Ray so much. This probably won't even knock him out. Yep. Swift. Does nothing. Come on, Groot. No, Groot. No, Groot. Don't hit yourself in Confusion, Groot. You're not supposed to do that, man. You're supposed to knock out the Starmie, bro. And he recovers. That's annoying. Come on, knock him out, Groot. Oh my goodness. This is a battle that never ends. This is a battle that never ends. It just goes on and on. Okay. Good job. I really hope he learns some better grass moves, though, man. We need something. Leaf Blade or something, man. I don't think he's going to get Leaf Blade. What other physical grass moves are there? Needle Arm? I mean, Seed Bomb's really the most likely. So... Oh, so I just came outside of World Islands to a different part of it? That's interesting. I guess I go in this one now. That's kind of interesting. I love sitting here wizard following us. At least we find bad people. Ooh, a golem, dude. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to battle it, though. On the off chance that I go for Scald, he lives, has Sturdy, and then explodes. I've played enough Pokemon in my life to know that that's a thing. Audrey's here to oh summon Lugia, yes, yeah, so that's that's it. She is here to summon Lugia, so this is a pretty pretty fair guess that we might have to face Lugia here. And I don't really know what I would do against Lugia. I mean, Gardevoir is pretty good. That might be our best bet. Or yeah, I mean, I guess double edge. See how much it does. Not too much. Gardevoir is probably our best bet, and then I also have the option of our starter, of course, Asparagus being able to, um, you know, potentially do some good damage to it, because I can Moonblast, I can call Mind up in its face. So I think maybe that's going to be my approach again, is Asparagus. Uh, here's a Dragalge. Uh, I Psy Shot, let's see. Dude, you know, Senor Wizard is, he's good, but he's just, like, not that strong, man. Like, he can't one-shot things. Like, if he was really strong, he should be able to one-shot, but... Because Dragology is, like, not that good physically defensive. All right, let's use a Hyper Potion. And let's put, um, let's put Asparagus in front. Because I have a feeling we might, we might need it. We might need it. Um, let's put him in front here. I like Scala too. Scala needs some better moves, but again, I don't have any hard skills, so we can't really do anything there. I don't have Rock Climb, so I can't do that. This is interesting. I think this is just for a Pokeball though, right? Um, yep. Let's grab that. And let's go this way. Wait, is that it? I'm confused. Can I not go this way without Rock Climb? Am I in the wrong island? Cause that's where I came from. Looks like I have to go that way, but I can't get over there. Oh wait. Okay, never mind. We're the strongest cult in Torin. I must. I was confused. I thought like that was where we first walked in. Don't mind me. All right. So I see where we have to go. Abyssal cultist got a hunt tail. All right, asparagus. It's time for you to get some action here. So Mega evolve, and we're gonna go for psychic. Cause I'm gonna save my moon blasts. I wanna save my moon blasts. Come on, let's see the power. Oh, there's the back spray. It fixed itself. Sweet. Yeah, the new update fixed it. That's good. Dude, it looks awesome now. Look at that. 
Look at that. And we get the special attack boost. Dude, this thing is so powerful, man. This thing is, like, definitely becoming one of my favorites. It's so powerful. Like, getting a special attack boost, too. Dude, look at it just wreck things, man. That's the kind of power we need. Maybe I should actually get rid of... Ooh, he wants to learn Psycho Boost. I'm not going to teach him that. Psycho Boost drops your special attack, and I think this is meant to be, in my opinion, more tanky. And just, like, take hits, calm mine, that kind of stuff. So I'm just going to kind of check out what's going on over here real quick. I think we're supposed to go the other way, but I'll look over here and just see if there's anything going on. What's going on over here? Maybe there'll be an item. TM or something. Ooh, a Sharpedo, dude. That's kind of hype. I can get away from it, but... Oh, there's another trainer. Okay. My Kingdra and I are the strongest around. You don't stand a chance. Except I can hit you with a powerful Moon Blast. So, dude, my phone does not stop. It's like, just... Just threw it across the room. Can you see it on the floor? Yeah, you can see it on the floor. <laughs> just get rid of it, dude. It just, like, does not stop vibrating. It's like, dude, I'm trying to record. I got a phone call. I'm in, like, a group text right now. Or, like, there's, like, four or five people texting. It's, like, family, but still. I'm, like, recording, bros. Jeez. And Lily's barking downstairs because there's probably, like, a squirrel outside. This is this is my life right now. <laughs> Killing the immersion, dude. All right, dude. Asparagus put in the work. Is that all you got? Yeah, all you got is a Kindred. Look at this, dude. This thing is just wrecking. I almost feel bad. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, but... This thing is just so powerful. I'm so glad I picked this starter after the first... Oh, wait. So there's two areas to go. Which way do we go? Is it this way or the other way? This definitely seems like the way, but then what was the other way? Here, you know what I'm going to do? Let's drop a Super Repel. I'll oh, we'll go the other way. Or a Max Repel. No, a Super Repel, because then I can just keep using them. All right, let's... let's. Go. I feel like this is the way we're supposed to go. So let's go backwards really quick. And I am, I am kind of doing the speed up real quick. Just to kind of get us there a little faster. Um... And you can hear my keyboard because I have to use the keyboard instead of the um, controller. But what's over here? Let's let's just take a look. I'll battle them on the way back. Is this just like an item over here? Oh, this is a way out. Ooh, is that an escape rope? Did I come all the way out here for an escape rope? I did. I did. Maybe this is so you can like fly if you wanted to fly somewhere. So that's another. Uh, there's so many islands. Oh my god, look at all the islands. Like, I feel like we're not even close. Do I need to be exploring all these islands right now? Like... Wasn't I in this one already? Yeah, I was already in this one. Dude, I'm so confused right now. Which one did I just come out of? This one right here. I think I'm going the right way, but it's like, there's so many islands. I was I was thinking I was gonna find some rare items or something. Go down. I could battle you, I guess. You won't leave here alive. I guess not, man. They're really like hell bent on you know trying to kill me or something. I don't see how that's fair. An Almamola. All right, well I'm ready, dude. We're just gonna mega evolve then, and I'm gonna hit you with a psychic. Do a little speed up action here. What do you guys think about the speeding up? Like, do you care? Do you want me to speed up? Do you not want me to speed up? Like, what's your thought on that? I typically haven't, but I don't know. Right now, I'm kind of like just really wanting to progress and see what happens. So I've been like speeding up a little bit more than I normally would. But let's get back to where we were at least. Um, I don't know. Like, I just, I don't know. I, like I said, I, I like to play in regular speed, but right now I just want to see what's going on. All right, so is there anything over here in the pool? Okay, so that's a way back to the beginning. So that's interesting. And then this is the way to the next. Well, I definitely think we're heading in the right direction right now. I definitely think we're heading in the right direction. Cause like just the color of the floor changed down here, you know? So you'll never get to Audrey, so don't even try. I'm gonna try. I'm already trying. I should probably stop, yeah, like look at the background change and everything, so I feel like we've gotten deeper. Which leads me to believe that we're definitely getting closer. Um, I'm gonna just Psychic again, I guess. I'm trying to save my Moonblast, man. This After this battle, I'll probably switch Delta Venusaur out until the boss. 
So that way I can, you know, be like ready to go. Big psychic damage. Dude, that thing is strong. He missed, but he's strong. Yikes. I should have probably calm minded first. That's okay. He's gonna ice beam, shouldn't do too much. Yeah, this thing is so strong. My goodness. All right. Big damage there. Then we get a plus special attack boost, like the special moxie. What else you got? You got in a barbarical. I'm gonna moon blast this thing. Saves a few psychics. Dude, he actually lived and went for Fury Cutter. That's crazy. All right, I'll just moon blast. All right, so barbarical's down. I don't know how far we have to go to get through the rest of this cave, but I really want to figure it out like today. But at the same time. We are, are approaching a long episode. Ooh, we're definitely getting close. There's some sort of a rock there. Oh man, what do I do? Uh, let's put, I don't think Skyla's gonna be that good. Let's use Diamond. I tend to forget Diamond's electric type, so. I just joined the call for the sweet outfits. All right, let's see what you got. Let's see how cool your outfit is. Doesn't really seem that cool. A Greninja! Dude, now we're talking! Extra sensory. That did nothing. Get out of here! Yo, Diamond, put in the work! Muscle and Thunderbolt, yes, dude! Good timing on that one! I like Shockwave and all, but Thunderbolt is so much stronger! Dude, now we have the Bolt Beam coverage on Diamond, which is just legendary. Oh, I think we found it. I was getting worried you wouldn't show up. After all, we wouldn't want to start without our special snowflake hero, would we? The World Islands are home to one of the oldest living creatures, Lugia, the guardian of the sea, the storm slinger. It hasn't graced us with its presence since the days of gold, but now the World Islands, its home, have returned. The domain of a legendary Pokemon is an ordinary place. It's connected to that Pokemon's artifact. It's why the Hall of Origin only appeared to dawn when she banished the Azure Flute. And now I have the bell. Uh, now I have the bell. It'll it, it'll bend to my will. Now emerge, Lugia. You will be mine. You will become my pawn, and soon the world will tremble in my fear. Who are these little ladies? Is it gonna be Lugia? I'm gonna guess that Lugia's coming here. Lugia's really powerful too. Something tells me Lugia's about to pop up. I'm just gonna go out on a limb. There it is. There is Lugia. Why do these Pokemon just always come to the bad guys, man? Welcome, Storm Slinger. My name is Audrey. I'm the leader of the Abyssal Cult. With your strength and my leadership, this planet could be ours. We have great plans for the world, Lugia, but we need your help to pull them off. What do you say? Will you join us? Will you work under me? A Drive, are you satisfied? Do you see what you came to see? Of course you aren't. You want a battle. But here's the thing. Even if you win, it's not like I'll release Lugia and leave. Why would I? Beating me won't change a thing. You walk right into a trap. You win, you get nothing. But if you win, but if I win, you lose everything. Your friends, your life, and you get a chance at saving the region. I'll give you a chance to prepare. I won't uh, indignify the Storm Slinger by having it fight in a weakened opponent. Let me know when you're ready to battle. Oh, and I'm trapped here too. Like, they, they got people surrounding me and everything. Like, this is about to go down. All right, team. Well, it's gonna happen. We are gonna have a very tough battle ahead of us here, guys. And I think I'm gonna wrap up the episode right here on this cliffhanger. Can our team hold it down against the Storm Slinger? Oh, they, I can't turn around. Can our team manage to beat Lugia? We don't have a choice. We're going to battle it, and it's going to happen on the next episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Insurgents. Let me know your thoughts. Hopefully, I get to see you at the meetup if you live near New York City. That'd be awesome. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button down below to give me a chance at a shiny match card. My name is Dan. I also go by A-Drop. I'm going to catch you guys next time. Peace.